Welcome to the Florida Courts e-filing portal and filing to the Florida Supreme Court. When you go to the Florida Courts e-filing portal at www.myflcourtaccess.com, you want to log in to the portal by either going to the e-filing portal menu item on the toolbar or to the File Now button down below. Selecting the e-filing portal from the menu bar takes you to the web homepage for the Florida Courts e-filing portal. Log in to the portal using your attorney, username, and password. To file electronically to the Florida Supreme Court a new case, you must access the e-filing map, select the appellate court, from the drop-down, choose the Florida Supreme Court, and then select New Case, since you will be submitting a new case. Then click on File Now. That takes you to the Florida Supreme Court e-filing portal, shows you that you will be submitting a new case, and these are the tabs that you will be walking through to add your case information, your documents, provide service, and submit the documents and the new case to the Florida Supreme Court. If you need assistance along the way, you can use the user manual that is located over here in the help column. You can also watch a YouTube video that is specific to the page that you're on and you can also take a look at frequently asked questions by clicking on the question mark in the blue circle. So your help icons are over on the right side of the new case banner. Let's go ahead and start to submit our new case to the Florida Supreme Court. In this appellate case you are representing you have two options other or yourself. Your firm is associated with and you make the choice. You will be filing to the Florida Supreme Court. We will be filing a petition, a petition for writ of mandamus in a criminal case, case nature, not applicable. If your case applies to a lower tribunal case, you can pull in that case information by selecting the link Add Associated Lower Tribunal Case. You can search that lower tribunal by using the search field highlighted here. Select your county from the drop-down and then select the division of your case. Type in your case number and do a search. This will pull up from the county you have designated, along with the case number you have entered, the case information, so that you can select that case and save the case information. Then, before moving on, you must select or confirm the court you're submitting this new petition for writ of mandamus to. So we will choose the Florida Supreme Court. Now you can choose next to go to your case party screen or you can save this to a workbench. Your appellate workbench will give you the ability to save your submission and pick it up and continue filing at a later date. For this demonstration we're going to submit this new case today so we will click on the next button which takes us to our case party screen. To add your case parties select Add Party and the first party I suggest you add is yourself as the attorney submitting this case on behalf of the petitioner. So from the drop-down we're going to select Florida Attorney and then we're going to copy my filing information into the fields above in this grid. That way I don't have to re-enter in all the information. It's taken right from my profile and completed for me. So to go on and add the other parties, 
you would cho choose Save to Workbench and Add Another Party. So now from the drop-down we're going to choose the petitioner that we will be adding to this case. So we will type in the petitioner's name. And if you scroll down, you see that there is an attorney association section. And since I am filing on behalf of the petitioner, I would make this association and save to workbench. Now I will go ahead and add in the respondent. Using the firm name for the state of Florida, After adding my petitioner and my respondents, I would then save to Workbench and show parties. This will give you your party information. You will see that we have the Florida attorney. We'll see that the attorney represents the petitioner and we have the respondent. If you need to remove any of these parties, simply click the red X. If you need to edit any of the party information, you click on the two, it takes you back into that screen so you can make any changes necessary. Once you make those changes, you simply choose to show parties. Now we're going to click on Next so that we can go to the Documents page and upload our documents. So from the Add tab, I'm going to type in mandamus and hit my tab key which is going to show all of the documents at the Florida Supreme Court that I can file that carry the name mandamus in their title. This is the document I'm going to submit so I type in the number of pages of my document, browse out to find the document that I have created take one last look at that document, make sure my signature, my electronic signature of S slash and the attorney's name is on my document, and then I attach it to this submission and click on Save. Once the file size appears, I can safely move on to add additional documents. Let's click the Add button, and I'm going to type in Appendix and hit my tab key. These are the appendices that I can file at the Florida Supreme Court and I will choose the one which would be an appendix to a motion and I will choose this document right here. Type in the number of pages, browse out, find the document that I am going to submit and click on Open. If it takes you more than one file to upload your document, you can type in Volume 1 of 2 and then click on Save. To get the second part of this appendix attached to this submission, I would click on Add, I would type in Appendix, hit tab, choose my appendix slash attachment to a motion, type in the number of pages, browse out, find the second part of my document, click on open, and in the volume field I would type volume 2 of 2. Then I would click on save. As soon as that file size appears, I know it's safe for me to continue on. I can also view my documents to make sure they are what I want to file. I can edit my documents if I need to change any information. And I can remove simply by clicking the red X. Once you have all of your documents uploaded, you must then make the confidentiality designation choose what applies to your submission. Then you may click on Next. 
That will take you to your e-service page. Anyone that has filed electronically to this case will already be listed in the e-service list. Since this is a new case, there will be no one listed on the service list other than the filing attorney. If I wish to receive a file stamp copy of the documents I am sending in to the Florida Supreme Court, I would select myself for service so that I can receive a copy of the documents submitted with the official file stamp date and time on those documents. If I wish to add an other attorney or an interested party to the case to receive service on this case, I can do so by clicking on this link and either choosing the party I wish to add from the active e-filing portal users or by searching the Florida Bar or by simply free texting in the person's name and email address. I'll type in a name and email address. And click on Save. When you add an other attorney or an interested party, they're added up top to the electronic service recipient list with a check mark to provide service. Once you have your service list defined, Click on Next, and that will take you to your Fees and Payment page. At the top of this page, you will see the documents that, and the service list for this case. You'll also see all of your case information. It shows you the documents that you have uploaded to create this new case. It gives you the description along with the filing fee so that you know how much this case will cost to file and this is a statutory filing fee there are no fees to file electronically but those statutory filing fees still apply so now you must select your payment method one of these three options either you provide your payment method you provide a request filing fee waiver or you are exempt from the fee in this case we're going to choose option number one and provide a payment method. You may pay by a credit card or an ACH account. The credit cards that you may use are MasterCard, American Express, and Discover. Once you enter your credit card information, if you wish to reuse that information, you can save your payment information for reuse. Then when you come to this page, under your saved credit cards, you'll be able to select from the list the credit card you wish to use to pay your filing fees. And then simply type in the CVV number. And once you have selected your payment method, a statutory convenience fee is applied to your filing fee. So you know the total amount of your filing fee. Once you have included your payment method and you're ready to submit your document, you may request this be sent in in an emergency status. And you also have to provide a reason if this is an emergency filing. Once you're ready to submit your new case to the Florida Supreme Court, you can confirm and submit all now you still have the option to save this to your appellate workbench and submit it at a later time. However, for this demonstration, we're going to confirm and submit all now. That'll take you to your filing confirmation page. Here you will see that we have submitted our new case. Here is confirmation in my email provider that the Florida Supreme Court has received my petition for writ of mandamus. If I do a refresh, you'll see also by clicking on the flyout, all of your filing information, your documents that were submitted, as well as your service list. If you go to your My Filings page, you will also see that service now has been provided you can view that Notice of Electronic Filing by clicking on the icon.
the NEF that went out provided service to the filing attorney and the person that was added to the service list. This is in compliance with Rule 2.516. It shows you your filing information and will provide the style of the case and that court case number once approved by the Florida Supreme Court. And here is service of those documents that I received in my email provider. Also on the My Filings page, if you click on the Fly Out Now, you will see that the uniform case number has not been assigned, nor has your fees or your payment method been applied. That is because fees are not assessed until the documents have been approved and accepted by the court. Once that happens, you will see this information completed and filled out. So you have submitted your new case to the Florida Supreme Court and you will wait to receive confirmation that it has been accepted and you will receive that confirmation in your email provider as well as in your email log. You'll see in the email log here that you will receive your processes completed emails which come from the Florida Supreme Court, the Second District Court of Appeal, and the county if you submit your documents to a county. But your emails are all housed in your email provider as well as in your email log. So that's filing a new case to the Florida Supreme Court filing through the ePortal.